what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so earlier today we got some breaking news that one of our three main leading characters from the scream franchise is officially going to be appearing in scream 5 uh, that of course being none other than David Arquette himself returning to once again reprise the role of Dewey Riley. Now, as I may mention in my previous video, the character of Dewey Riley, I could live without that character if they decided they were going to kill that character off. That's that would be perfectly fine with me, but I'm going to get into some other things that we learned here today. Uh, so that's basically one out of three officially on board. Now we only need confirmation that Courtney Cox is going to be back and Nev Campbell, of course. And I feel also what we also want to know is whether or not Roger L. Jackson will be reprising the voice of Ghostface and if Hayden Pantier will be back as Kirby. Courtney Cox, I feel... I don't know what the relationship is between her and David Arquette since their divorce. I know in the midst of filming Scream 4, they were undergoing a divorce um, and they had them in like separate rooms at one point during the during that production uh, to avoid conflict on set. Now, I don't know if they're if those two are willing to work together or if David being on board might be an issue with Courtney coming back. But we'll see. And we'll, we'll actually even see if they even are a on screen couple in Scream 5. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do, but if if Courtney Cox doesn't come back, I'm assuming this is possibly going to be have to do with it, the fact that David Arquette was on board. But getting into some other things we found out today, we now officially know who is going to be writing Scream 5. It's not going to be written by Kevin Williamson 100 percent. Now, what we do know is that Kevin Williamson will be assisting these writers. It's a it's a it's going to be a group effort, uh, an original story co-written by uh, James Vanderbilt. Uh, who many of you I feel like you're familiar with him if you've seen the amazing spider-man or movies like the zodiac um, And then guy Busick, I believe guy Busick, if I'm not mistaken He did work on ready or not and then I think also articles are saying he worked on a few episodes of castle rock and castle rock I, I, I think castle rock was one of the one of who one of hulu's currently one of the streaming services better shows that they have to offer uh, and Kevin Williamson is basically going to be on board, of course, to executive produce, and he's going to be there guiding these writers to make sure they come up and hit this out of the park. Um, when when uh, Kevin Williamson, um, basically in a press release today, a whole bunch of comments came out of the press release. I'm going to start off with what David Arquette had to say. He said that he's thrilled to be playing Dewey again and to reunite with my screen family, old and new, already hinting at the fact that we're going to have some fresh faces along the way. Um, Scream has been such a big part of my life, and for both fans and myself, I look forward to honoring Wes Craven's legacy. Um, and again, um, David Arquette is the first person that we know is going to be on board who's a returning character. Um, while he is like just the first person to actually be confirmed, uh, we do know that conversations are being had for Neff Campbell to return as Sidney Prescott, uh, the meat and bones of the Scream franchise. We haven't really heard too many things about Courtney Cox. Um, I'm assuming she'll be announced at some point or another. Uh, and then they could be having uh, they could be having talks with several other cast members or legacy cast members, if you want to call them that. We could see ret a return from Joel. I know a lot of people want to see the character of Joel from Scream 2 come back. Maybe we get the... Um, the two characters from Scream 2. I don't know why the sorority girls from Scream 2. I know a few people who want to see them back. I'm not too sure why I can live without them. If you're going to bring back one character who hasn't been in the franchise for a long period of time, I'd bring back Randy's sister, uh, Martha Meeks, and then just Joel and call it a day. I just bring those two characters back. Uh, well, I'm going to get into what the production company, of course, who's going to be bringing a Scream 5 Radio Silence had to say about it. Um, in a statement, Radio Silence today, it said it's impossible to fully express how much Wes Craven's work and the screen movies in particular mean to us as fans and have influenced us as storytellers. Kevin Williamson's incredible stories have entertained and inspired us for decades, and we're insanely honored to have the opportunity to be a part of the cinematic world Wes and Kevin so brilliantly created together. Uh, Jamie and Guy's Jamie and Guy's amazing script does that legacy justice and we're so excited to bring the next chapter of scream to life now what has me excited is how everyone is already gassing up this script uh and he's not he's not the only one so he's he is not the only one by any means gassing up this script uh the the 
people speaking on behalf of Radio Silence. Kevin Williamson himself has actually had some comments to be made about this uh, whole project. He said that I'm excited to reteam with David and work with Jamie, Guy and Radio Silence on the next screen. Their take on the movie is both original, inventive and honors West West's legacy in a wonderful way. Uh, he even praises Ready or Not. He, he says that Kevin Williamson said that Ready or Not was his favorite horror film of last year and he can't wait to see what their amazing talents bring to the Scream universe. I'm thrilled to be a part of it. Just the fact that we get to sit and then here's what one of the writers had to say, uh, one of the co-writers for the new script. He said, just the fact that we get to sit in a room with Kevin Williamson and talk about a new screen movie is a dream come true for me. For years, I've wanted to see a new screen movie and now we get to help make one. We want this to be a love letter to the movies Wes and Kevin created together and to the fans said uh, Vanderbilt. Now, what's interesting here to me about this is the fact that uh, this collaboration is going to bring together Radio Silence with uh, Shirak. What's what's interesting to me about this is how this whole collaboration is bringing together Radio Silence, who we know brought us Ready or Not, is bringing together Kevin Williamson, who we know is responsible for writing and coming up with the idea of the original Scream, Scream 2, Scream 4. Um, he had ideas for Scream 3 that he never got to make, unfortunately. And now he's being involved with Scream 5 as an executive producer. He's not going to be officially one of the writers from what I gathered here, but he's going to be hands on with these guys to make sure that uh, the material that they have is put to use in the most effective way possible. And if Kevin Williamson, the creator of Scream, because I know everyone likes to praise uh, Wes Craven. Wes Craven is the director, but remember, Kevin Williamson is the one who came up with the idea. He's the one who formulated this whole uh, Scream universe that we now have. He's the reason we are here today and we're getting another Scream film. If it wasn't for his inventive idea back in the mid 90s when the horror genre was struggling, we wouldn't have certain things that we have today coming from this series. We probably wouldn't be sitting here talking about something like this today. Um, the simple fact that this project is bringing Radio Silence, who we know did a wonderful job with uh, who's behind the, the amazing horror film of last year, Ready or Not, and bringing in Kevin Williamson. Now we have David Arquette. We could be potentially getting, of course, Neff Campbell back, uh, Courtney Cox, possibly even more old cast members, Skeet Ulrich, maybe even Matthew Litter, Lillard, uh, maybe uh, some other characters we haven't seen in the past to just make this a film that is a love letter and something that honors Wes's legacy. I can't wait to see what comes out of this. And I think this officially also confirms that Screen 5 is going to be a sequel. This is going to be a sequel. Maybe not a direct sequel. We still don't have confirmation on that just yet. But once we have more plot details and everything, of course, we'll know for certain. But I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens with this project and where it goes and what other casting announcements we'll get in the future. Um, and then speaking to something else, um, filming, they're, they're expecting to begin filming later this fall. That's when production is looking to gear up. I know production was supposed to start this this month, but with everything going on in our country, unfortunately, and all, all around the world, uh, production has been halted. They're looking to start filming in Wilmington, North Carolina later this year in the fall. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that's also where Halloween Kills was shot. So I don't know what the schedule is for Halloween Ends, and if those two films are going to be filming in the same city, I think uh, North Carolina is going to be a pretty packed city in the fall. I don't know what the shooting schedule is going to be for Halloween Ends. Halloween Ends now, if I'm if I'm betting, man, I'm, I'm willing to bet that it might be getting shot in early 2021. Uh, just in time to make its release later that year. But Screen 5, yeah, is set to start filming later this year in Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, when they have the protocols and everything up to par to know how to move forward with the industry in response to what's going on in the country and this outbreak. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. Are you excited about David Arquette being back? What do you think about all these comments that Kevin Williamson has made praising the story that's been that's been written for Screen 5, uh, praising um, and, and the other two people who the co-writers even praising the fact that they are fans of the series and just I'm really excited because it seems everybody involved I when you have news like this where everybody is just praising what came before and they're excited to do this it just makes me even more excited I'm excited for screen five let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below what do you want to see from the movie if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video 
in the description i'm going to have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and then of course down in the comment section i have a link i'm going to have a link to the facebook group go ahead and join that to stay up to date on anything horror related with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video